Senator Ted Cruz continues to get hammered over his 180 on disaster relief funds. And it's not just the Democrats or mass media that you might expect actually attacking him, although there is a bit of that as well. So in this first clip, you're gonna see him attempting to explain when a host on, I believe it's MSNBC, points out his abrupt 180 when it comes to Sandy funding versus Harvey funding. A lot of people are pointing out that you voted against aid for Sandy after that catastrophic storm. Well, you know, look, there's time for political sniping later. The problem with that particular bill is it became a $50 billion bill that was filled with unrelated pork. Two thirds of that bill had nothing to do with Sandy. And, and what I said then and still believe now is, is that it's not right for politicians to exploit a disaster and people are hurting to pay for their own political wish list. God, he's he's not even good at it. The political sniping. like. You look terrible, you look terrible and you know that. And some politicians can sort of brush it away, but he doesn't have that capacity. And so it's pointed out there, maybe he was hoping it would simply go away, but it's not going to go away. And we've actually got a cat fight between him and a Republican, Chris Christie. So let's turn here on Fox, Chris Christie pointing out again that hypocrisy. Senator Cruz's you know, accusation that two thirds of the Sandy bill was pork is absolutely ridiculous. Washington Post did a fact check on it yesterday that is consistent with what I remember at the time. There was a Senate bill that had some of that and it all got stripped out because all of us, including the people in New Jersey objected to it. They were playing politics with it, okay? They were all getting ready to do what they wanted to do for 2016 and make themselves seem like the most conservative person. The fact of the matter is, there's not a liberal conservative way to deal with people who are drowning and dying. Yeah, yeah. So there's a liberal and conservative way to deal with people who wanna cross a bridge though. There's some different ideas about how to do that. Yes, but in this case, Chris Christie is absolutely right. So. The Washington Post gave it three out of four Pinocchios for Ted Cruz's claim that that bill was loaded up with pork. It just, it's just not true. Uh, so, uh, and but the thing that Christie's most right about is that Ted Cruz uh, saw a political opportunity during Hurricane Sandy to paint himself as the most diabolically conservative, which to the rest of the country might seem incredibly unappealing, but for Republican primary voters. Who he was targeting because he knew he was going to run, and he did in 2016, um, is is good news for them. They oh, this draconian ass who even when people are absolutely suffering and dying and we've got a natural disaster says no, I won't give you the money. I won't give you the money under any circumstance. I don't care if you're dying in the middle of a storm. That's the political game that Ted Cruz played. Now when it comes to bite him in the ass in Texas, all of a sudden he's got his hat on and he's pretending to help yeah. people. I'm and, just worried about the people. And all of a sudden it's not time for political uh, sniping. Well, how come during Hurricane Sandy it was a perfect time for your political ambitions? And now all of a sudden when it hits your home state, not the right time for politics. Yeah. And to John's point about Chris Christie's hypocrisy, all the Republicans are hypocrites. Whenever it's an issue that they think helps them politically, let's say terrorism, they go, "Oh my God, we got to go get them. We got to go get the bad guys and the terrorists, and let's make this political and drop bombs." When it's a mass shooting, hey, wait a minute, don't make this political by talking about guns. No sniping. No sniping, literally in that case, right? So and. And so they go back and forth on this, but on this one, Ted Cruz is a million percent wrong and he knows it. And this is the hypocrisy that's so sickening. Yeah, and occasionally with Republicans, as we've pointed out over the years, when something that they've been against, some sort of social issue, actually affects them or their family, sometimes because it affected their tiny little circle, they will evolve and they'll become like a normal empathic person. But in this, I don't expect that to happen. I mean, Ted Cruz voted against the Sandy funds and now it's a 180, so he wants the Harvey funds, which of course he should. There will be more storms, we know that. That's what we've signed up for with the way we've organized our economy and our energy system. So when the next set of storms comes, will Ted Cruz support it? Will people force him to? Will the media point out his position on Harvey? Will other politicians? Probably not. I mean, Ted Cruz is getting our focus here, but he was not the only Republican in Texas or across the country that was against those Sandy funds. It's sort of expected that at this point, that if it's not their state, they're simply not going to care. But I want to point out some of the other people attacking him. There's been some great covers on the New York Daily News. Let's bring up this first one. It's pretty clear what they think. Trump, Ted, Ted. 
No, like that. that was during the campaign, uh, by the way, when he said that he, uh, when he attacked quote unquote New York values. Yes. And so uh, one of my favorite tweets is from Peter King. I don't know if you've got it. Oh yeah, we do, we do have it. Oh, go ahead. We have one more cover, let's bring up the second one. Uh, how do we get out of the Bronx, take the FU train, Ted. Uh, that's clever. But then we do have uh, Pete King as well saying Ted Cruz and Texas cohorts voted versus New York, New Jersey aid after Sandy, but I'll vote for Harvey aid. New York won't abandon Texas. One bad turn doesn't deserve another. Then my favorite Pete King tweet was, as lifelong New Yorker with New York values, I will vote for emergency Harvey funding for Ted Cruz's constituents. Above all, true Americans must stand together. So that's a shot that combines Ted Cruz talking about New York values in a negative light during the primary yeah. and his vote on Hurricane Sandy. Yeah. And then Frank uh, uh, Lebon Biondo, who is a Republican of New Jersey, joined in as well and uh, saying the same thing. Hey, listen, we're gonna help the people of Texas, even though Cruz, and by the way, almost the entire Republican Texas state um, 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 delegation not not the state delegation, but the the federal delegation for Texas voted against Sandy funding. Yeah. All but one of them. They all said no. If it affects New York or New Jersey, we don't care. We're not going to give money for that. Let them die. Okay. And they actually voted in favor of a storm for San Francisco. <laughs> now, when it turns around and it's it's Texas. It's Republican 101. Oh, but that's my people. Yeah. If it's if it's no good, dirty New Yorkers, what would they know? They have dirty New York values, and I vote no. Oh, uh, sometimes they get hit uh, uh, by terrorism, like on 9/11. Who cares? Sometimes they get hit by superstorms like Sandy. Who cares? I'm not a New Yorker. I'm not going to give them any money in their time of need. Yeah. Now that same Texas delegation, including Ted Cruz, turns around and goes, oh, "Golly gee." I have forfend playing people playing politics. I want money. Give me the money. And I'll tell you this. You think Ted Cruz is just doing this for the people of Texas? No, nah, he'll fight for that so that he gets more votes. I understand that. But I guarantee you, yeah. I laid out for you right now well <laughs> ahead of time. When it comes to ask for money, he's going to ask money for the oil companies. Yeah. He's going to ask money for all of his donors and his real constituency in Texas. All this stuff about, oh golly gee, I'm down in Texas, didn't have time for politics. It's like, oh donors, I don't worry, I got your back. Hey, 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 dude, what's great about my predictions is that I tell you ahead of time. So if I'm wrong and Ted Cruz never asked for money for his big business donors down in Texas, then you'll get to say, hey Cenk, look at that. What a crazy conspiracy theory you had that the millions of dollars that they gave Ted Cruz would actually affect him. I, but you'll see. He will, in fact, ask yeah. for that money, and that's part of what, what this is about. Yeah. TYTnetwork.com slash Harvey, not a dollar, not a cent to any of the oil companies who caused this mess in the first place. Yeah. TYT membership gets you commercial free Young Turks, download it, stream it, podcast it, get all the network shows, and support independent media. TYTnetwork.com slash join.